Hey guys, so I'm going to cut through, I'll cut right straight to the chase. And one of the last videos you saw, I took and I re replaced the nozzle on the Artillery 3D uh, SW-X1 because I felt that I had wore out the original brass nozzle, so I went ahead and I got a Micro Swiss nozzle to replace it. I started doing some test prints. Now, the original print I did was this one. Came out fairly decent. Yeah, I broke a piece of it there. But all in all, it has some layer lines to it, but it wasn't horrible, but those layer lines bothered me. So what did I do? I re go ahead and I replace the nozzle. Layer lines, once again, aren't horrible, but they're actually more pronounced. They're about the same, maybe a little bit more, but not by much. So I did, took and I did some readjustment on the machine, tightened some stuff up, started this one up, and it's got more layer lines to it than the other two did. So I changed filament, went with the AMZ 3D bronze, and once again, I'm right back pretty much to my original amount of layer lines to it. The one thing I did notice though with this one is that it actually completed, well, not so much completed, but the little part that's supposed to stick up on that is a little bit higher than it was on this one. So I'm guessing that's what this material that's back here on both of these is where that steeple or where that, that piece is gets taken back into the back. So after all this, I've come to one conclusion. And it's a conclusion I don't want to come to, and that's that Calvin was right and I was wrong. And he's going to gloat all over the place, and I'm really hoping he's wrong about this, because if he is right, I'm going to be upset about it. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to slice this model at 0.2 layer height. This, all these were on the same STL file, printed at 0.1 layer height. And one comment he made after I was playing with this is, well, you know the Volcano hot end isn't made for doing 0.1 layer height. It's meant for doing, like, faster prints. So the print quality at a 0.1, may, that may be causing your layer lines. I'm hoping, at this point, I'm, I kind of hope he's right, but at the same time, I hate to admit it. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm going to resize this model, go ahead and do it at a 0.2 layer height, and let's just see how it turns out. So I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, I just barely walked in the room. Uh, it says 13 hours, 49 minutes. That's a whole lot less. It was running nearly 30 hours on the previous prints. <laughs> okay, I haven't even looked at the back yet. But one thing I did notice right off the bat, this was one of the last ones I did. Look at the little steeple things here. Little things on top. Those printed. That's something at point 0.1 layer height that did not want to print. It, they just kind of broke off. Now once again, see these layer lines right here? Let's see what happened. There we go. Oh, goodness. I hate, I hate you, Calvin. I hate you so much. <laughs> just kidding. He was right. 0.2 layer height. I'm seeing some lines, but nothing like they were. Let's see if I can get this light just right so you can see on both of these. This one, you can see definite layer lines. This one is way smoother. You, you see more of the detail of the roughness, the way the, the moon is supposed to look on the STL file whenever I zoomed in on it. This is the way it was supposed to look. Definitely way better. I mean, you see a couple little lines here and there. 
but nothing like you did on this one. Okay, so what did we learn on this? I learned right off the bat is that I got a really good nozzle on here now. <laughs> it's not one I absolutely needed. I know one thing for sure, I'll never use 0.1 layer height on this machine again. Uh, 0.2 layer height is just fine and definitely prints a whole lot faster than going with 0.1 that's for sure and that's the weirdest part about this is the detail on the 0.2 is much cleaner than on the 0.1 which i don't understand that at all but i guess that's the secret of the volcano nozzle it's just meant to pump out the plastic compared to doing it in a real fine detail that way but uh, nonetheless, still did a pretty good job on it. I'm definitely happy with the way that one turned out. That's for sure. Way better on the outside. Inside actually looks cleaner than I could have imagined. That actually turned out really good. Wow. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Take care. Catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com. We can purchase merchandise from my Tee Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.